Look at that. Look at that thing there. That's right. I bought a Ford. I got a 2022 6.7 Power Stroke, and she is up on jack stands for good reasons, not bad ones. Uh, I, I'm going to start the channel out. We'll uh, start this build series out with our first modification. And um, I'm doing a one and a half inch leveling kit on it. I uh, sat there and looked at a bunch of videos, one and a half to two and a half, and I don't like the, you know, the that front end too much higher than the, the back, and that's what I've heard was the two and a half makes it taller in the front, makes it, you know, higher than level in the front. So I went with the one and a half, and uh, I'm gonna put it on, and uh, I'm gonna tell you my honest opinion about it, and. I'm not gonna just justify my purchase, you know. If I don't like it, I will go get a two and a half inch or, you know, do full cool leveling kit. This is just the rough country one and a half. But, <clears throat> um, I'm gonna put it on. Well, I got some before picture. Well, I have a before picture and then uh, I'll get a after picture and then I'll just generally look at it. Is it still kind of leaned in the back, you know? Is the back end hit higher? in the front or you know how the Fords this is also one thing I was looking at see the beds are lower than the hood on the top and um, I was wondering if you know a little bit of rake in the back will kind of make that look more even for the hood being higher in the front or what what my actual opinion is like on the one and a half inch leveling kit if it looks good or just save your time and your money and go ahead and get a two and a half inch so uh I'll get started on it. We're going to put it on and then if it, if it looks bad, I tell you it looks bad. First things first, get this heavy bitch lifted up in the air and on jack stands. I just put them right there behind that cross member. You'll figure it out. If you can get the wheels off, well, good job. Um, I got a shitty jack from Harbor Freight and I got shitty jack stands from O'Reilly's um, seems to be like it's gonna be tall enough so I can I, I was able to get full droop with the tires on with just this setup right here so you're probably be good and I'm not on even concrete or nothing like that so don't worry about your uh, janky jack if uh, that's what you got because that's what I have get your tin pop that loose Pull that bracket up. Then uh, take the bottom bolts out of your shocks there. And uh, you know on this bracket right here, this is on the passenger side, the ABS wiring. I just took that little Christmas tree deal out of the axle tube right up here. All right. There, that little hole right there. It's a Christmas tree. Popped it out. And uh, I'm going to see if I can do this without taking the uh, sway bar off. Okay, um, first cool is out. That was super easy. And uh, I didn't undo mine. I mean, it's kind of in a little bind there. But, you know, if I can move it with my fingers, it's not that bad of a bind. You're fine leaving the sway bar on. Maybe you may have to take it off to put the lift in there now I'm thinking about it. Anyway, we'll see. All right, after you got your cools out, get you a 19 millimeter, put it on that bolt in there and break your back. And uh, then they'll come out just easy. And uh, here's the spacer that comes from Rough Country. They come, uh, they're aluminum, but they come the shiny. And um, I painted mine, I hit it with uh, Steal it black paint. You ever have it? If you haven't ever used steal it black paint, try it out, man. That stuff's good. Uh, it's a little bit high for can, but it uh, you get a lot more coverage out of it. And this stuff is tough now. Like you can um, rust oleum and stuff. I can scratch off this stuff. Nope, it's good. It's like powder coating in a can. But anyway, I painted mine black so it matches everything up underneath here. And I have this little detail brush. I just got in here, you know, and cleaned it around. Left the bolt in there cleaned around all that made it nice and 
nice and clean got no grit underneath the uh, spacer I don't want any of that so uh, um, let's put it on okay I've got the first one in uh, everything lined up right uh, I got to get the other side but then um, I forgot to pull the uh, the vent tube well I didn't really forget I knew about it but it once you drop it all the way in with the spacer just drop your axle all the way down with the spacers and you need to go ahead and uh, there's a Christmas tree up on the frame uh, that you can pop out of the, out of a hole uh, built into the frame and then gives you that slack out of your vent tube so go ahead and you know loosen up your vent tube over there and then uh, uh, I'm gonna get the other side in and try to ease it back up in there okay it's the uh, it's the next day um, I started to run out of daylight and I had to go ahead and get everything thrown together real quick but um, from where I was I was taking the axle up and I had the cools in and was taking the axle up so and everything fell into place pretty easily um, I do know that the factory didn't have you know the buckets that are on top of the coils that go up into the well go up into the cool bucket but the the rubber spacer on the top of the cools the factory didn't have those lined up right from the beginning so I had to readjust them to where they were supposed to be but it all fell into place pretty easily as I was taking them up they didn't they didn't throw themselves out of whack as I was taking the axle up they kind of fell in real easily so but my final thoughts on the one and a half inch lift in this town that I live in I mean it is freaking hard to find level concrete and this is far from level but it's the only place that I could find that wasn't busy but um, it may it may have you know a half inch of rake or an inch of rake in the from the back the back may still be slightly taller and with the with the hood you know the the hood being higher than the back it, it does look pretty decent so I think I'm going to run it for now and wheels and tires those will be coming that'll make a huge difference on how the truck looks but like just throwing that one and a half inch I wouldn't say the truck just looks stanced out and good it it's kind of basic like it's hard to tell the difference between factory and that right there to me what I'm trying to get at is uh if you put that one and a half inch lift on the front it's not going to be incredibly noticeable like standing away from the truck no one's going to walk by that truck and go yeah that thing looks good it's still standard looking to me like it but wheels and tires will make a big difference but um, if you're wanting a real aggressive stanced out look I'd say go and go ahead and get the two and a half inch leveling kit but um, I'm gonna run the one and a half for now and then uh, with the two and a half I go ahead and get the uh, the track bar extension if you're gonna get that two and a half inch level because I can already tell with one and a half the the axle did get pulled over a little bit so like compared to this side right here see it right in there you're you're flush with that fender well just about flush with that fender and then over here this shadow is not doing me any good. There's a little bit of poke. So uh, with the two and a half, I would definitely go with the track bar adjustment. Or what I'm going to do is I will go ahead and get a fully adjustable track bar. That way, whatever that I have the truck at, um, I can pull that axle left and right and really center that thing up. You know, so. Uh, that's probably what I'm gonna do. I was looking at, uh, I think BDS has a decent adjustable track bar, and then um, uh, the other one was Poly Performance, I believe. 
has one as well. But uh, either way, it'll look a whole lot better with wheels and tires. But it's just not that aggressive at all. It's not like you you won't see the truck coming down the road. Like I see other trucks, uh, other 2022 model F250s, and they, when they're pulling towards me and with a lift on, and I'm like man, that truck looks good. This one, as of right now, no. It's I would say go ahead and get the two and a half. Anyway, that's my opinion on it.